Don't judge me. No judging. Welcome back to Lady Mona Bang. In this episode, and losing my little bit left. Death by prep work. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Sanding. Well, this took longer than I expected. I'm sanding. I'm sanding a lot. Uh, what's up, y'all? I'm Ashton. Welcome to Lady Moto Bang. In this episode, I'm going to be painting the gas tank and the side covers on my 1972 CB175. Let's go. All right, so I took a poll on Instagram and uh, basically I had a bunch of designs that I made on the computer and I posted that on Instagram. And I've decided to go with design number five, mostly because uh, I ended up choosing a design that I thought would be easiest for me to execute and maybe not mess up. I've already used white vinegar to get the rust out of the inside of the tank. It didn't have a lot of rust, um, so I just used some white vinegar. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And I'm also going to repair the side covers. They're really cracked and brittle. They can't get much worse, so I don't feel bad about also experimenting with these. These aren't going to be gold. These are going to be black. I've only got one badge. So I got new badges. They're smaller. They don't say 175, but these are really, they're too expensive. I don't really want to drop a whole bunch of money to get a new set of 175 badges. I watched a few videos on YouTube on how to do this correctly. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad. So the paint I bought to match this orange was from a company called Colorite and um, it's called Candy Gold. So I'm gonna stick with the Candy Gold. I am gonna switch up the design on the tank. A lot of people really like this gold color and I just couldn't bring myself to go with a different color. Alright, we're gonna try this out. If this doesn't work, then we'll go something a little more aggressive. Alright, so the citrus didn't work. I don't have any of the scrapers out here. That came off pretty good. said don't even worry about stripping it um, which kind of reinforced my conclusion that I was gonna have to sand it off anyway so I already had this in the mail so I had this paint and rust stripper that I ordered all right so this emblem is stuck on with double-sided 3m tape They just break right off. This is this plastic is so brittle. Yeah, they just broke right off. Look at that. I have my work cut out for me getting all this to look good again. This plastic is so brittle. I'll be lucky if I don't end up cracking in after I get it all looking good again. Alright, I'm using this JB Weld, it's for plastic, and you can sand it. So on the front of these, I kind of used, this is Gorilla Tape, to use, they're basically like a butterfly, butterfly band-aids on this right now, holding these together because I don't know where my super glue is.
Got these all sanded and cleaned up. So, cut the fins out. Took my Dremel, I've got this, uh, I've got this attachment on it. I liked using this because I could go pretty slow, so I didn't make any major mistakes. I've got the JV weld on the back here. I'm gonna fiberglass the back of this, so I'm not worried about sanding this or anything. But I got these edges all cleaned up. I had to, there was a, like a lip right here. I had to make them more flush because a bunch of chunks had come off. Um, so I'm gonna do fiberglass on the back and then I'm gonna use my leftover fiberglass resin and kind of brush it across the top, see if I can fill in some of these spots. And then after that, if I need to bondo, I will. I've been working away, not really filming a lot. It's pretty labor intensive. But what I've got so far is I fiberglass these on the inside and the outside. Pretty messy. It's my first time. First time fiberglassing. And it's more of an experiment because these were pretty these are pretty brittle, pretty rough shapes. So um anyway. I followed some advice from Instagram that I got and I skimmed the top with the fiberglass resin and it did a pretty good job I've already drilled the holes for the new emblems there sanded these down both of these have a chunk missing from the edge here so I used some fiberglass cloth and I brought it up and I'm gonna try to fill that with some Bondo I've already uh, I've already cut this down and uh, I still have a lot of cleaning up to do and I still have to clean up the back. But I think they're gonna turn out, I think they're gonna turn out decent. Stripped all the paint off the outside of the tank here and um, I've identified some, a lot of dings. This is probably was a kid's bike so it's it's got a lot of dings on the top and uh, on this back side here. Some of them like this one and this one on the back, I'll try to pull out with a dent puller, but everything else, I'm just gonna go straight to Bondo on it. And I've only identified these by feel. So, I've been working from home for the last couple of days, so I've had plenty of go-between time between my tasks for work um, that I've been able to do a fair amount of work on the gas tank and the side cover. So this is what I got going right now. Shave the fins off. I've already shown you guys that. I drew the holes for the new little emblems I got. I think these are from, they're either from Partzilla or maybe four into one. There's a little bit of Bondo on this. There was a chunk missing on the edge. So this is filler primer. This is all one uniform color. I can definitely tell that there's some work to be done. So I got some glazed putty and I'm gonna address some of those issues with this one. Got the tank painted underneath. This is just Rust-Oleum enamel on the bottom. Um, wanted to concentrate on the outside the part you're gonna see. So this is just Rust-Oleum enamel that I put on here. Um, so when I do go to paint, it'll be, I won't, I won't be worrying about like hanging it up and, and all that, I can have it sitting down. I bonded it a few spots. This is definitely far from being done sanded. I can already tell that I've still got a low spot in some spots. You know, this is the first bike I've ever like shown me working on, but normally um, I don't put in this much effort. This is the first time that I've really gone the distance and decided to paint a tank. Hopefully when I get done with this, it can be something that I can live with and that at least looks decent on camera. <laughs> I wish I had the TV on, but I'm filming. I like to watch World War II documentaries. You know why? My dad made me like that when I was a kid. We would watch World War II stuff all the time. 
like always been this thing. World War II, kind of a big deal. And I just love a, I love a World War II series. Oh man, I started watching Masters of the Air. Oh, it's so good. I, I haven't started the third episode yet. It just came out last night. Oh, this looks good. Well, this took longer than I expected. Uh, um, it looks like, it looks horrible. I used the duple color on it. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's really shiny in some places, really dull in other places. I don't know if the primer is sucking it up. I probably have put eight, eight coats of duple color on this, so. Time for the good old black Rust-Oleum spray paint enamel. Ready for the actual stripes and stuff. It's cold out here. It's not bad, not perfect. Maybe uh, I just don't have the right expectations. I think it's got good, some good even, co even coverage, but definitely had to put more paint on here than I thought I would need to. And uh, I don't know if there's environmental factors because it's been so cold. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. But uh, we're not trying to win any contests with this paint job, so. All right, I'm gonna get this taped up. We're gonna do the mid coat and then we're gonna do the base coat. Hopefully I can get these lines straight. This is the first time I've ever done like taping off like this. We're learning. We're learning. I cannot wait to be done with this. I know there are some professionals out there watching this. Be kind. I'm not gonna take this to the bike show. I decided I didn't want to put any more paint over this. So I'm just gonna leave it black. The rest of it will be gold. All right, I'm gonna wipe this down now before I start painting. All right, for, in, according to the instructions, I need to put this mid, it's a mid coat. I need to put it on and wait five to 10 minutes, put another coat on. It's pretty yellow. That's the original on the forks right there. I mean, this is just a first coat, light coat. So we'll see, but I don't know. It's pretty yellow. All right, that's my second coat. It definitely got more gold. Especially like here, got those on there a little heavier. fourth coat um, it's still a little uneven like color wise so hopefully this fourth coat will be my last
Well, according to online, I need to take this tape off before the paint cures too much. Just giving it a once over. There's definitely some uh, debris in the paint and I haven't decided if I'm going to try to wet sand that or if I'm just gonna cut my losses here and get this over with. Uh, go ahead and clear coat it and move on with my life. I do know that I need to go ahead and take off the tape before the paint fully cures. So here we go. Looking pretty good. <laughs> Give y'all a better view here. That was super satisfying. Not sure what y'all are thinking because you don't exist yet the audience you exist now at the moment that you're watching this but I'm I'm a figure of the past anyway not trying to get all Socrates on you I don't know if they'd be Socrates but philographical um, please that my lines are not too messed up I see some imperfections I see I see some I don't want to call them mistakes I think that my lines look straight, that's good. Didn't get any uh, paint bleed, that's good. Maybe this area I needed a little bit more of that base coat, that's like a mid coat silver that's supposed to go over under this gold. Definitely needed some, some more here in the corners. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. start on the side covers. I went ahead and painted them with some Rust-Oleum. Uh, the set that I painted with the Duplicolor, like I said, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Um, it's been really cold in here, so not really the best environment for getting paint to dry. These are plastic covers. They're in pretty bad shape. They're very brittle. Um, I'm really not interested in putting a whole lot of time into making these look perfect. From here, they look okay. So Scott from Scott Moto reached out to me on Instagram. Um, we were talking about the side covers and he actually gave me a link to a set that are only like 38 bucks to replace these. So uh, the back looks horrible with the uh, fiberglass patch job I did, but nobody's looking back there. So anyway, so now I'm gonna move on to getting the little emblem in there. That's the easy part. And then the next part is some creativity on my all right so I'm just gonna try to test fit this I don't know how I'm gonna get this to stay in here I do know that it needs to be somewhat curved in here so I'm gonna try to pre-bend it before trying to uh, fix it in here 
doesn't look too bad. I really just want a, a nice tight fit around all the edges here. Really the only the only thing I want to do is make sure that these vertical wires are um, running parallel to the edges here. Got the edges cleaned up pretty good. I don't know if I showed you guys, but you know there were orange fins in here and uh, this lip actually was probably about a quarter inch, came down about a quarter inch, um, but the fins broke off higher than that, so I just drilled it away with, or I just uh, sanded it away with my trusty Dremel. Yeah. All right, don't freak out, but I'm using a hot glue gun for this, okay? There's nothing wrong with a hot glue gun. It's not for every application, I know that. I'm just using it to like tack weld in this thing and then I'm gonna use like real glue and I don't have the ability to like get a plastic melter and like plastic tack weld it on there, okay? So we're gonna JB weld it, but first I'm going to use a hot glue gun to affix it where I need it to be, so. Don't judge me. No judging. She's a beaut. Gorilla glue. Am I standing where I need to be standing? I'm gonna burn the shit out of myself. Look, we're even gonna use black glue so you can't tell. Is it on? Oh, it's on high. Yeah, it's on. Red light's on. Red means danger. Red means stop. This feels like I shouldn't be doing this. It's unscrewing. Just point it, just look directly down the barrel to make sure it's loaded. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry. Little glue strings everywhere. We're experimenting. Oh, should it be popping? Well, I glued this. Honestly, this, is, this did a pretty good job. Um, I'll be neater on the next one because I kind of understand that what I need to do is try to get the glue underneath so that it's pushing up through the mesh and it's grabbing it. But let's put this badge on here and see what it looks like. I think I finally got one done. Got it all smudged up right now. I'm wondering if it was too cold and uh, it just didn't cure. I mean, I, I threw paint on this like four days ago and uh, Definitely has some high spots in it. It's not, not my best work. Definitely uh, did a... I'm not used to, to uh, painting plastic, so I can paint metal just fine. But this plastic kind of threw me for a loop, I'm going to be honest. Dang, son. That's not bad for busted side cover. I just got to get a, some Windex and wipe it off. Wow. 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 That's not bad. I'm gonna throw it on the motorcycle here. Sickle. Get that bad boy on there. Let's see, I'll pop these on here, cover up these dumb pod filters. I think I'm honestly, I'm going to trim off some of the plastic on this because the other side cover, I test fit and um, it, it was already cracked. So I went ahead and test fit it. And uh, I could barely get it off. I can barely get this one on. So I'm going to shave this lip off just to scooch. Just took one trillionth of a millimeter off of that with my subtraction tool. Oh, there we go. That's not bad, you know. Look at that. Yeah, this could definitely look worse, I'm not gonna lie. It's just that paint's a little uneven. Yeah, man. Doesn't look bad from 20 feet away. Now this I did a good job on. I uh, definitely know where the mistakes are. Some of you uh, eagle eyes out there might be able to tell as well. But um, Look at that color. So you can already see I just didn't fill in this dent 
quite enough. This one either. There's a little dent there. But they were a lot bigger. So those are the only two spots and I just uh I know how to fix that in the future. So in the process I was like, oh I'll replace this rear tank mount. So I ordered one from Common Motor and normally they're awesome, but or I don't know what the deal is, but you know, this is a K6 and maybe this is a rear tank mount for an earlier, like a K0 or a K1. Um, but it is way too small. So this is about to rip if I take the tank off and you know, a dozen more times, this is probably gonna give up. Oh shit. I need to source one of these. Watch out for my throttle cobbler. Boom. Yeah, man. I think there was a ding here. There were dings all along this bottom edge. I got all those out pretty well. Um, and then there's a little bit of uneven paint coverage towards this edge right here. It's not a huge deal. And then just because I was feeling special, I taped these off when it was time to put the gold down. Let me see. So overall, this turned out awesome. I haven't polished it. Um, it takes a while for that paint to cure completely. I don't really see the need to polish it. I'm not gonna be impatient and do that. And would you look at that? Dang, son. I did a good job, y'all. I'm happy with it. If you're not, just keep it to yourself, I guess. You know, that ain't half bad. That This bike was in shambles, almost, once I really started digging into it. And it's looking pretty sweet. So tomorrow I'll wheel it out and let you guys see it before I wrap this episode up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs>